in the back and uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about how alternators work, how they produce their power and why that dual rectifier is beneficial. Up front here we've got a, a alternator stator and rotor. Uh, the stator is your is this component right here the outside field winding to an alternator and here is the bridge rectifier and this is the rotor these are your main components to your alternator you have your housings your voltage regulator and everything else and basically what this is alternators are made up of two electromagnetic fields this rotor is an electromagnetic field and the stator is an electromagnetic field and when this rotor field spins inside of the stator field what it does is it cause, causes AC power to be made inside the stator and that AC power comes out through these three leads. Automotive stators are basically three phase. When I say three phase it means these wires are connected to three different sets of windings inside of the stator and this bridge rectifier right here is the conversion station that converts the AC current to DC current. The stator when power is induced into it by the spinning of the rotor inside of the stator this is all made in the form of AC or alternating current just like what comes out of your house other than this, your, what's in your house is basically single phase this has got three single phase stations this rectifier has six diodes in it two diodes for each conversion station there's a there's a, a two diodes one negative and one positive for this first stator station one negative one positive for the second stator station negative negative and positive for the third stator station so that's why you only have each conversion station only has two diodes to it a negative and a positive so by going to the dual rectifier that we have there we're basically doubling we have two bridge rectifiers in that alternator run in parallel compared to where this one just has one and that's it. The voltage regulator has nothing to do with this side of it. The voltage regulator controls the power to this rotor. To these two slip, these are called slip rings. And this is where your brushes ride. And each one of these slip rings is connected to a, one of the ends of the coil of wire inside this, inside this rotor. And th that's how it turns this rotor on. It, uh, what the voltage regulator basically does is you ground one of your brushes here and then you send positive power varying positive power to the other brush and that'll either make this a big electromagnet or a small electromagnet and then that affects output when this spins inside here and the alternator wants to put out full it's going to put the full 12 or 14 volts to this here rotor making the making it a very magnetic large a strong magnet spinning inside this stator is going to induce it to make a lot of power then when, it, when the battery fills up and the voltage regulator sees that the battery's filled up, it cuts back power to this rotor, making it a small electromagnet, toning it down so when the small electromagnet spins inside of the stator, it makes very little power out to the rectifier. So I hope that gives you a better understanding of how these alternators work. They're, they're pretty basic and simple. They all work basically off the same rules.